Gay the gathering, great of pride, hospitality of hope, housed in this greatness. Yet the crimson gold roof, continuing its descent, embraces a darkness embodied by fear. Wary must you be, wading through the unknown. Temerity warrior, rising in action, sits here, Beowulf, bold but bored. Hrothgar and company, composed with pride. You know of me, the mighty swordbearer, greatest geek, good and steadfast, who boastfully in brashness burn any devil dark of heart. Who can fight of whoever approaches, I'm unarmed, undaunted by foes, swiftly and smartly, but without sword. I can dispatch your demon with the sparages of death. Since swords fail to send him suffering, blades fail to burden him with pain, I see hope here in your truth words, words that wither those who haunt these halls. Let the lazy, long-legged beast arrive and arouse the ash scorn, malevolence of mouth and morn, till the end of terror rises, a sun soon to set. Enter the end, explicable terror, a monger of monstrous souls. It is Grendel, garish and dank, a force that all have failed to match. He is gleaming, grand with grime, his mind made whole by madness stripped. shines. Fight me. God ridding green giver and sinner, I am the underlord, undying and merciless. My reign so great will reach out forth upon small lords lurking in their lairs. Only a fool would make a foe of this fiend, for I am Grendel from godless deeds by God, invading interloper of interesting stature, the killer of kings keeping their heads who feasts on the flesh of the fresh blade, the gore of girth garnished on top. It is I, the end of all times, the apocalypse you oppose, Grendel. You pilfer and plunder these pillars here, of goodness God granted, rampaged and rioted like ravens at night, coalescing on carrion, caressing the darkness. You have dared your destiny's path, forcing your fate by facing me here in this majestic hall with malevolent morals. Your faith will determine your freedom, fresh from the diligent work of death do we part. Faith is fool's folly of proud for questioning and queer of heart. It is compassion and company caring for the lost and lonesome left. If faith has spared you fairly so, it would not herald here in my presence. You might suffer my sadistic superstition, that this hell fiend needs no fate, to achieve victory through vexing vices, and feast on your family and fortune. Call upon yours a cacophony of scorn words, and symphony of slander, wary his will, wither in embarrassment, and sully self-esteem, sown of pride. Attack with abasement, abrasive in action, demerit with disparagement, demise of his downfall, till tidings told of his terrible husk reach the rearmost recesses of his heart, and harrow him here with Hrothgar, making him loathly and leaving here lonesome. 
hell harlot of night, whoremonger of war. Pathetic peasants of pride made gullible from goodness of God granted downfall. Foul fiend of stench, forgotten dead-eyed devil. Puny pacifist and punctual worm. Ugly underlord, underlyingly wimpy creature. Danish dust, droopy antagonist. You broken buckled beat, beastly busted bastard. Greedily loping Grendel, here in Herot, a heathen of hell be gone. In the animal, agonizing defeat, humiliated and holding tears, departure swift death dealer runs. Bravely watching Beowulf stands. Never a knave has known such a loss by a master in matched hostility. Hero of Herot, hasten to glory, roast of revenge, reveling in drink.